Hello everyone, Shelve the Wanderbots here, and welcome to The Spirit and the Mouse. And this is a demo. This is by Abloon Studios, Abloon, Abloon and Armor Game Studios. And all that I've seen of this is that there's this little mouse running around this town and somehow they've acquired the power of electricity or they have a little electric tail. I mean, look at him. He even has a little lightning bolt on his body. And he's able to, to travel through wires and he's trying to collect these little light children. Uh, it, it's really interesting. I suppose I should just get started. Press any button. Okay, I'll see this. Start the demo. What do we have? Playing with a controller is recommended. Well, I do have a controller. Oh, the story so far. During a thunderstorm, Lila, a small mouse collided with a mysterious spirit that fell from the sky. The spirit named Lumion is the guardian of this town. He lost his electric powers when they got transferred to the mouse. It is now Lila's duty to help humans around the town in place of Lumion. Guided by Lumion, our brave mouse is headed to the East Street to help someone in need. Ooh, okay. Lumion. Well, cute little town. I imagine that this would- this seems like Europe. It seems like the streets of an old European city with all the cobblestones and the- uh, definitely the kind of stuccoed Tudor-esque. East Street. saint et Claire. Ah, so yeah. Café Chez Michel. Okay, so that's French. Definitely French. Oh. They're adorable. Look at those whiskers. Whoa, what, that's the voice? Mouse. It's me, Lumion. Can you hear me? Uh, uh no. Yes! Thanks to my wondrous powers that you currently have the most of, we can communicate across great distances. This is your first time helping humans as a spirit guardian, but unfortunately, I'm here to show you the way. See that building with the bright windows? There are humans inside. A spirit guardian's duty is to help the troubled humans of this world we can sense their emotions. Do I really need to help them? I mean, they set up traps all the time and sick their cats on me. I'm just, I'm trying to think of, would a mouse really come to the aid of humans? Hmm, hmm, hmm. These humans are in need of help. Get close to them and you'll be able to overhear their conversation. And don't worry, they won't be able to see you as it's dark outside. Really? I, I am the one with the electrified tail. Wouldn't I be luminous? Mm -mm. Now, go. Go on, scoot. Be quick about it. I don't have all night. Oh, oh, I'm adorable. Look at this mouse. Look at them. They have the glowing ears, glowing whiskers, nose, the ends of their paws, the tips of their tail. And is that the lightning bolt? Yes, that is the lightning bolt. Oh, I really like the, the textures everywhere. Eh. Okay, so I can't climb. Oh, where do you think you're going? I told you to go see the humans in the cafe. Come on, chop chop, the clock is ticking. Go listen in on them and see what they need. I wanted to explore! Ah! Okay then. I'll go over and see what's going on at the cafe. That guy looks very much like a Geppetto character. The mustache, the spectacles. Eh, there we go. Up here, and I have to stand within that glowing circle. Okay, here we go. Listen. Oh, there's a, there's a server at the bar. Maybe he's having a glass of wine? Ah, uh, actually, this might be the cafe, uh, yeah, so, more like, uh, like a, the version of Michael. It, it still might be pronounced Michelle, like my name, but, uh, okay, so this must be the owner of this establishment. Clients are gone, tables are clean, I can finally watch my TV show. The new season premiere is airing tonight. 
Every week you say the same thing, Monsieur. Even though this show is dull, have you ever missed one episode? Oh, Louise, I've never missed any of them since the show started airing eight years ago. I do admit, my grandmother and my mother probably watch the same soap operas for, what was it, going on 20 years? There are some soap operas that last that long. They just have characters' children and their children and their grandchildren and... Ah, oh, so much drama. So, hmm. Then again, I suppose most Star Trek series also lasted seven seasons. It was their thing. So, eh. <gasps> oh gosh, ten minutes left. It's going to be so great. Let's turn on the TV. Zzz. Error, no signal. <laughs> what? No, not now. What's happening? That's bad luck, Monsieur. Maybe the power outage from earlier caused a problem. The lightning might have struck the antenna on the roof. It already happened once. I fear that it's too late to call an electrician, Monsieur. There's nothing we can do now until tomorrow. I can't even go repair it myself. We lost the keys to the roof weeks ago. What, you haven't had a locksmith come by? Or, or a spare? I... Without the antenna running properly, the TV will not operate. <sighs> ah, but Louis, I can't miss the show. I watched every premiere. Why did it have to happen tonight? Lumion, when you said that these humans were in despair and needed my assistance, I thought that they were dire circumstances. Like maybe this man needed money or something to support his business or... I don't know, maybe there was a shipment across town that needed to get here, but for him to miss the first episode of a television series that he's consistently watched for eight years... What? So frivolous. You could just watch a recording of it tomorrow, Monsieur. <laughs> ah, you'll never understand. By the way, why are you still working this late? I told you to go home long ago. <laughs> Oh, I do like that the uh, the wine glasses and such are just flailing everywhere. <coughs> I, I, I had some glasses that needed deep cleaning for tomorrow. Very urgent stuff, Monsieur. If you say so, Louis. Ah, oh, that doesn't solve how I can watch my show tonight. What can I do? Did you get that, Mouse? Once we solve their troubles, the happiness they generate will help me get my strength back. Oh, I see. So you're a happiness vampire. You don't do these things out of the altruism of your own heart. You do it for your own power, Lumion. That's just... I don't know. I find that to be rather... Ugh. The humans are mostly right. The antenna might be faulty, but something else is going on up there. Hmm, that's quite a climb. How do you mortal creatures tolerate scurrying around? At the top you will find the antenna, and a very special device. Ugh, why am I handling a simple job like this? They should already have, this, have fixed all this. Yeah, that's what I was asking. I swear on the Maker, those little kiblins never get anything done. Enough dawdling. Climb to the roof above the cafe to find that antenna. Shoo! Old man in the TV. Well then. Hmm. So Lumion feeds off the happiness of, of humans. Well then. The antenna, as I recall, is up there. Well, it seems like we do have string lights. Yeah, I can jump quite the distance. Oh, I remember these! The fancy napkin holders that you pull them from the side. Can I actually see the menu? Ooh! Sandwiches, ham and butter. Sausage and bacon. Tomatoes and... What was that? Is that Sol? Hmm. Hot drinks, espresso, hot chocolate. 
Rooibos tea. That's a, a red tea. It's made from an African grass. Chai latte. Breakfast butter croissant. Wait, chocolatine? Pan au chocolat. And desserts. Mousse and crepes and honey. Oh, really? Am I taking a nap now? Oh, I'm just going to zoom in. Look at that adorable face. Look at those little ear twitches. They must really like their shiny gold and brass. Okay. Up we go. Oh, the little squeaks too. Okay. I'm on the move. Climb the lattice. Wait, can I climb the lattice? I... <laughs> I feel like I'm in an action-adventure game. Do... Are mice even capable of moving like this? I, I would think that they'd almost crawl akin to squirrels. Doesn't matter which way is up or down. Okay, release. There we go. Let's get around here. Now, it seemed like there was a dish there. But the dish is... Wait a minute, what is that? Is that supposed to be at the end? It almost looks like it's supposed to be a channeling device, but it isn't. The metallic piece of diamond. Ooh, okay. Well, I do... Oh, so that's how I travel. Where are those? Okay. What? Wait a minute. This machine looks like it's oddly humanoid. It has two eyes, rosy cheeks, and a little bow tie. A, a Kiblin box. After closer inspection, there's a label, East Antenna. Do you want to turn it on? Yes. Malfunction, 25 energy required to boot. Shock shining objects to find energy. Okay. Do I shock objects? How do I shock them? Do I use a button? Oh, oh! <laughs> okay. I suppose it's X then. Okay. So maybe it's the shiny and glittery objects that will give me all these tokens. Ooh, yes. Wait, I want that. Why can I stand on it? Uh, there we go. Ah, so that's more like a chest of multiple bolts. I'll go down here. I think there was something else I could get to. Well, I can electrify that, but it doesn't seem to actually activate it. Well, I have 39. Eh. That should be enough. Feed me. Ah, that's ominous. Okay. Let's feed them lightning bolts. Okay, just a little bit more. There you go. Yum. Starting boot sequence, 50%, 90%, 98%. Hello, world. Access denied. Author unauthorized personnel detected. Rodents are not registered in the Spirit Guardian's database. Contacting the closest Spirit Guardian. Please wait. Request approved by Guardian Lunion. Updating database. New personnel added to the database. Name, null. Role, interim spirit guardian. But my name is Lila. You can now access all Kiblin boxes of St. Edclair. East antenna, Kiblin box not functional at moment. East antenna cannot be powered. Kiblins are currently missing. Kiblins are part of Kiblin box, necessary for power reboot. Can you find and bring back Kiblins? Help is required and appreciated. No. Error! I do not understand this command. Can you find and bring back Kiblins? Help is required and appreciated. Very well. Thank you, Rodent. Insert appreciation message. Activating KTS, Kiblins Tracking System. Initializing KTS. KTS activated. Disabling Kiblin's camouflage. 
Wait, they were hidden from the world and they're clearly tourists. Or children. If you need assistance to locate Kiblins, we provide Kiblin tracking service. Speak to us for help. Thank you. Mal. Now that you've woken up the Kiblin box, you have to look for its Kiblins. It is my duty as a spirit guardian to make sure everything runs smoothly. Try not to do a poor job and damage my reputation, will you? Ugh. Talking like this is really putting a strain on what's left of my powers. Don't forget, find the missing Kiblins, then come back to the Kiblin box. I must rest. Return to South Town when you've collected happiness. Well, get a move on. When I've collected happiness. Hey! Hey, Kiblin kid. Looking through the binoculars. Who do you gaze upon? There's no one currently seated at that table over there. I'll speak to them. Is it kissable? Kickable? No, I think maybe it's kissable. Hmm. What can I do? That thunderstorm sure was strong. Oh? Huh? Hello? Can you see me? Uh, yeah. I can. Also, you can clearly see me, though I don't know how well, considering your uh, your orbits are currently gazing upon me through those those lenses. <laughs> that is cute that they do show the eyes blinking there. Yes. Uh, how is this possible? The Kiblin camouflage should be working. Only spirit guardians can command the Kiblin box. How could a simple mouse... What? Lumion is here. And you're his assistant? How did this happen? I see. That's definitely a tricky situation. But I can help. I'll send a message to Kiblins in town explaining the situation. That way, they'll be expecting you. Or you could just send them a message to come back here and lend us their strength so that they can be inserted into Mr. Kiblin box over there? I don't know. Us Kiblins usually say to our assigned Kiblin box and generate energy, but sometimes, like tonight, we get out into the wild. They may not be the brightest. I would argue against that. You're pretty bright to me. And by bright, I mean in luminosity, but, well... But the well-being of humans is our top priority. We love to perform good deeds. Since you're tonight's spirit guardian, I'll tell you how you, you can help me. My name is Kissable, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm trying to fix the main antenna right here. Do you think you could assist me? Yeah. Marvelous. Here's the deal. We are three satellite dishes. Oh, there are. There are three satellite dishes in this neighborhood. And they are currently all looking the wrong way. The thunderstorm from earlier might be the cause. They all need to point towards this antenna, otherwise there's no TV signal coming through. This big antenna broadcasts the TV signal to all of St. Clair, which means right now no entertainment for anyone. Why isn't everyone taking to the streets? No one can survive without television. Especially the man downstairs, who must see the premiere of his soap opera. This is particularly awful because tonight is the season premiere of my favorite TV show! Is it the same TV show, though? Anne is about to announce to Sebastian that she's Sean's long-lost child! Meanwhile, Sebastian is going to confess his love to Emily. Well, do you even know what a TV is? From here, I can reboot all the satellite dishes' motors. Check this out! Uh-huh. Uh there they are. Unfortunately, my Kiblin box partner is busy with another task. As Spirit Guardian, I hope you'll be able to help me. Just shot those satellite dishes to have them point towards the big antenna. I'll be here calibrating the signal. Come back to me once you've positioned all three satellite dishes. Oh, wait! Use the wire to go down quickly. Good luck, mouse. 
All right. Well, I do know that I can access the one over here. And yes, most definitely a soap opera. Okay. Ah. There we go. It's in position. Now, maybe I should use the wire just to see where I can go next with it. Travel. Whoa. Huh. Okay. So that's a direct means to get up there without having to climb up that wall. Oh, hey. Kit post. Oh, hello. Are you the mouse Kissable told me about? The one who's acting as our spirit guardian tonight. Amazing. I could really use your help right now. You see, I'm a new Kibblin here, and I don't have the required knowledge to be able to help Kissable with the antenna issues. I came to St. Clair a mere 20 years ago or so. Wait a minute. You're a new Kiblin to this area, but it's been 20 years? They must be immortal. Because I'm still a fresh recruit here, they gave me a simple mission to start with. Kissable asked me to grab the letters that fell from the mailboxes during the thunderstorm and put them back in. But as I'm new here, I feel completely lost to this town. My sense of direction is so bad I keep going in circles. Probably also wouldn't be good to be this small. Then again, I suppose poor Lila is this small as well. Would you mind going with me to find the mail on the ground in this neighborhood so I can put it back in the mailboxes? Uh, sure. Thank you, Mouse. As soon as I'm done, I'll go back to the Kiblin box. All the mailboxes are located in this neighborhood. Let's find those mailboxes. Oh, I have the Minto. Also, that is a really cute hat. Okay. Well, that looks like a mailbox. Alright. All this mail on the ground. Oh, they must have a lot of friends. Buy one, get one pizza. Vote Jean for mail. Marcel Electricity 2424. What weird names. But they all sound like nice people. No, they're all scammers. That's all scam mail. It should just be discarded. Thrown in the recycling bin. The mail is back in the mailbox. <laughs> Only four left. Let's find them. I, you know, I don't believe they would have wanted that mail. It's perhaps the reason why it was on the ground. Well, mailboxes are usually located near doors. I learned that humans find it more convenient. I can smell the next mailbox, so it must be nearby. Let's go. Wanna continue looking for mailboxes? Yeah. Also, that's interesting. If you do start a quest with one, you can stop it and go to another. Phew, let's continue then. Wait, I can electrocute the bicycle. Okay, yes. I can't jump up that high, but there is a pail that I can electrocute over there. So I wonder if I'll lose him in the process. I should just find the other mailboxes. Oh, Hotel de Ville, Pizzeria SCP, and Hotel Eclair. Hmm, I wonder if they serve Eclairs. Shovel. Yes. Planter. And... Ah, and I like how they, they lose their sheen once you've acquired all the remaining power on them. There we go. Oh, wait, even the broom is made of metal? Maybe just the things holding the straw in place, the wire. Well, there's recycling. All the squeaks. Wait a minute, there is mail all over the place here. What happened? don't have much mail. Do you think they don't have friends? What do you mean? There, there was mail scattered all over the steps. They had more than the last people. Well, they have a big red label that says no ads on their mailbox. No wonder people don't want to write to them. <laughs> oh, oh my. Yep. Well, that that's a reason. Or maybe this ads person is rude. Yep. Anyway, no mail will be left on the ground under my watch. 
the mail is back in the mailbox. You know, for observing humans and trying to sap them of their happiness or feed off of their happiness, they they really do neglect the ways in which unhappiness is accrued by humans. That's interesting. <laughs> Only missing three. Well then. Let's find the next mailbox. Probably down the street. Oh, yep. There's another one. Oh, wait. Something to electrify. Wait, was there something in here? Or is it hidden beneath? Aha! There we go. That was the glut of electricity. Okay, more mail. It's the buy one get one pizza person again. They must have a lot of spare pizzas. It's like they're all friends. What a wonderful town this is. <laughs> oh boy. The mail is back in the mailbox. It looks like we're only missing two. Well, yep, that's where it came from. On to the... Oh, yes, sign. What does it say? Possibilities? Something? Trend, huh. Oh, it's a... Is that an advertisement for a lottery? Nope. Wait. Oh, that's a means to get up. But what's down this street? This town is actually pretty extensive. I wonder what this median is for. Just to separate traffic? Oh, wow. I can electrify the grating. Aha, more mail. Hmm, lots of taxes urgent mail here. This taxes person must be eager to have some news. We wouldn't want that mail to be lost. The mail is back in the mailbox. Okay, next one is the last. Oh yes, these creatures are woefully ignorant of humans. Odd that they're their guardians. All right, let's find the final mailbox. Maybe up the street? I suppose we did take the long way around. So maybe it's over this way. Yes. Whoa. Why is that off limits? Oh, under construction perhaps? Oh, there's some kind of rigid rectangle in this. It comes from bank. Do you think it's a snack? Whatever it is, Bang must be generous folk. I'll put it back with care. Are you sure it's not a snack? Oh, the mail is back in the mailbox. Oh, I think that was it. Right, Mouse? Everyone will be happy to read their mail tomorrow. Except for the no-ads person and everyone else that got all those pizza coupons. I hope that I too will receive some mail one day. Maybe from you, Mouse? Without you, I would have been so lost. I really enjoyed your company. Now I must go back to the Kiblin box like I promised. Good luck, Mouse. Oh, that is a cute sound effect. Ah, so lit one of those up. Oh, I got some extra goodies. Oh, well that was awfully cute. And I like how they did a little, I suppose, world building that way. But where do I go? Ooh. Now I want to travel up this. Oh, this is locked from the other side. Nope. Can't go there then. Well, this main area has the other dishes. So I could try to find, yes, where the other dishes are situated. I think just above. Yep. All right, let's go up this way. So I wonder 
then, when this game is fully released, is it going to be a series of, say, a zones of the town, and you find a human in distress and you need to acquire kiblins? Ooh, yes, climb the lattice. Oh yeah, there's another satellite dish right there. All right, set. Is it in the right direction? Ah, there we go. I just zap it multiple times. So that's two of the dishes in place. Where was the final one? Ooh, now there is... Oh, I've seen another one of those somewhere. Ooh, a light bulb. I wonder if they're an extra collectible. Wander is being awfully munchy. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Ah! Climb! Didn't realize that you could fall. Now, is there something further up? Oh yes, there is. I wonder if we'll ever actually go inside someone else's about. Ooh! Wonder where this goes. Oh no! Another light bulb. But how do I get there? Nah, it's on the ledge. Maybe I'll be able to access it with this? Oh no, that took me all the way down. Yeah, how would I get up to just that ledge without falling? Hmm. Maybe it would be a balancing act of sorts? I could try it. I don't have to go bananas for every single collectible since this is a demo, but it'd be nice to see. I wonder if they open up things like concept art or other goodies. Now there is this lattice here, but I can't seem to access it. Yeah, you see it's just right there. what I intended to do. I can't seem to climb up this. Uh, maybe another time. I should focus on... Eek! Focus on getting to the... Uh... Is it okay to fall? No. That seems too far for the little mouse. They might have been gifted with the powers of Lumion, but I don't know if that makes them immortal in the same way that say these luminous creatures are. He might just be a mouse. The ability to electrify things. Ah, yeah. There's another glowy bit over there. And one on that fence there. Wait. That's where the last one is? Oh. There's a little, uh... There's a little electric line. Going from that rooftop. I wonder... If there's a way up to it from here. And I've yet to find all those little children. Wait a minute. Wasn't there also this one that led me straight up? Ah, up here. Well, but I suppose that's a shortcut in and of itself. It brings me here at least. Ooh. Oh, that must be the exterior of the city. Now let's go this way. Aha, uh -huh. so there's that rooftop there. That's where we just were. The next one's up there. It almost seems as though you have to go into the house or up that lattice. Huh. Maybe it was actually in the right spot before. So how else would I get this? Ooh, oh no. Ouch, poor thing. I'm so sorry. They, they definitely seemed a little shell-shocked there. Yeah, this area just seems locked off in comparison. I feel as though everything I can do is right here. So, go back and around. Up we go. 
the music is pretty enchanting. It's cute. Okay. Yes, that is a good shortcut. Now, ooh. There we go. That opened up something new for me. Now I can access the rooftops. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is the way I can travel around. But I should investigate what else I have around here. Oh, seems good for the time being. Let's go here. Ah, so I see I can move slowly here, but wait a minute. Is this really where I wanted to go? I thought I wanted to go around here. Nope, that's not the way. But that is the way that was locked off before. So maybe I just have to access one end in order to unlock the other. I can hear the last of them. It's not far away. Maybe it is just out here. Aha! There we go. Zap. Great job, Mouse. Come back to me now. I hope you can hear me from here. What's the point of having such big ears otherwise? I heard that. <laughs> I wish I could fly. It'd be so convenient. But alas. Ooh, I could zap that, but it looks like it's teetering precariously on this. Ah. Well, I suppose that it gives me the opportunity to climb down this. I do like how these games give you access to new areas. Figuring out new ways to apply your one ability. Let's see. Wait, but did, oh, ooh, okay. I suppose that fall wasn't so bad. And there we go. That was kind of a trick jump. And now, I'll be heading back. And then at this point, I think there's just the three children left. The one that, they were this group elsewhere. Maybe they'll give me a hint as to where they're located. All right. You are back. Now that all the satellite dishes are correctly oriented, I can tweak the signal. And we're done. However, the main antenna won't work until we power reboot the Kiblin box. For that, we need more Kiblins. Speaking of... My teammate here is new in town and still has to learn the ropes, so I sent them on another task earlier. Please assist them too, if you haven't done it yet. Last time we talked, they were near the cafe. Okay, time for me to go back in. Oh, and Mouse. I've been doing this job for 83 human years and I've seen my share of spirit guardians, both good and bad ones. Ooh, so there can be villainous spirit guardians. <laughs> Let me tell you this. You might not be a real spirit guardian, but you have all the necessary qualities to become one. Maybe one day, who knows? See you around, Mouse. Aww. I wonder if malevolent spirit guardians wouldn't be, say, kind of evil creatures that give power to, say, conquering empires or warlords or something in this universe. Of course, I'm thinking on too grand a scale. These good ones just help people watch television. Apparently. Now, I already did help the one that was down here with the mailbox, so, I don't know, time to explore new parts of town. Yeah, I definitely haven't been here. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Well, I wonder, are there 
any of these guys here? No? Oh, that was important. I wonder if there are really 30 of those here or if there are more levels with them. There we go. Well, there's North Town. I think that's where we came from. Eh. Can I jump on this? Yes. And if I'm smooth enough, then I won't have to jump up every single step. There we go. Yeah, this box is still not like. Oh! Now, there's a mouse sized hole. So if all I need to do is get the power, then the old man will be able to see his soap opera. Oh, there's one in there? Oh, that works. Oh, there's crickets. I've been hearing more crickets out lately. They've definitely been pleasant to listen to. That and toads. 166. I wonder if I'll have to pro provide any more power after the kidlins. But where are- oh, there's the remaining kidlins. But I'll collect these first. So they're not distracting. Looks like someone has a grill up here. And a little garden. One? Then five? I think it comes after five, or maybe it's eight. Math is hard. How about we play hide and seek if we can count? Oh, oh they can't play hide and seek if they can't count. Oh, you there. You look like a smart mouse. Fancy a name of hide and a game of hide and seek? Wait a minute. Are they... Their names are so similar, but one of them's green, one of them's yellow, one of them is red. Huh. Only if we promise to get back to the Kiblin box and repair it. Who do you think we are, demanding things like this? A spirit guardian? Hmm. Oh, that sounds fair. Sounds like blackmail to me. We should be tending to the Kiblin box anyway. Let's say yes. Okay, deal. So, are you ready to play hide and seek with us, or what? Yes. Yay! We'll hide in various objects in this garden, both downstairs, upstairs, and downstairs. If you think we're an object, shock it. Be gentle, though. We're fragile. You can only miss three times, so look carefully before shocking. Find all three of us to win. Ready? Let's hide. Oh, so this is akin to one of those prop hunt games. Well, the interesting thing is I've already electrocuted all of these ones. Oh, this one is moving, however. And it has, it's actually vibrating, the controller. Oh, this hurts. This game isn't as fun as I expected. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I found one. Let's find more inexplicably moving buckets and ah uh, 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 uh. oh I see you sweating. No fair, I was almost invisible. So you thought. Okay, what else do we have around here? Nope, nothing moving. I wonder how long their scope is. Is it just this area? Because if I- I'm afraid to leave, because, of course- oh, wait a minute, I- I see you. There. How did you find me? <laughs> Nicely done, not your first time playing, huh? I think she cheated. Or maybe we just suck at this game. Let's go for one more round, but this time we'll hide even better. Are you game? But you guys... You're just moving the goalposts now. Fine. Yay! Ready? Let's hide. But this is the last time I will acquiesce. Okay. 
So I wonder what the signs will be this time around. Because are they going to wiggle or not? Or are they just going to be in objects that are more difficult to... Wait a minute. I, I sense that. How did you find me? I just have to be very observant. Wait a minute. What? The tiny little plug here. Or the light? Oh, this hurts. This game isn't as fun as I expected. Okay, then. Anything else? The last one's probably going to be in a place that... Wait a minute. Are there fireflies around this one? Mm, but it doesn't seem to be moving. Let's go back up to the garden. There has to be one hiding around here. Uh-oh, uh I see that one. But how do I get up there? Is there a way onto this? Aha. Uh -huh. Can I get onto this ledge? Because I think I have to get up onto this. There we go. Just didn't want to accidentally electrocute one of the, uh... One of those. There we go. Here we are. How oh, fair! I was almost invisible! Wow! This game was lit! And you really are a pro at it! Thanks for playing with us, Mouse. And as promised, we're going back to the Kiblin box. And don't say anything to Lumion, please. Oh, I assure you, Lumion has probably heard and seen all of our exchanges. <sighs> we hope you had fun too. Bye bye. <coughs> Time to get back to the Kiblin box. Oh, I think it was the same voice. Oh well. They're all so similar, just having the little tiny. They're all stuck in one bulb. Oh my. Okay. The eastern antenna has been powered. Let's go. I wish there was a little light bulb. Um, sort of like an electric current mode where you just fly over the landscape. That'd be fun. Are you playing with the lightning rat? Yes, indeed. Apparently this demo, it, it doesn't start at the very beginning of the game, it seems. They did a little recap where they said that our mouse Lila has been infused with the power of a spirit guardian called Lumion. And that we're trying to get Lumion's powers back, but also temporarily take on the role that Lumion would have. All right, up we go. And here we go. Are you content, Kiblin Box? Status update. East antenna power up possible. Waiting for authorization to proceed. Uh, do it. I mean, I suppose I could collect more of those little glowy light bulbs, but this is a demo, so it's okay. Do it. Starting power reboot. Waiting for Kiblin's status report. We're all ready. Let's do this. There they go, charging everything up. Let's bring this antenna online so that old man can watch his eighth season, or was it the ninth season of the soap opera? There we go. Oh, there's a little light bulb there too. Power reboot sequence completed with success. East Antenna is now working correctly. I was programmed by the Maker to reward kind souls. Please accept this Ver equals gift one from the bottom of my quad core. Oh yeah, one of the bulbs. 
Don't forget to turn off the lights when you leave a room. It saves Kiblin's energy. Now entering idle mode. Goodbye, world. Thank you for helping us. We have to provide electricity to this part of town now. See you soon, Mouse. There we go. And I could attempt to land on this down here. Whoop. And get that. So this is so sweet to fall from here. Oh, ouch. Oh, there's actually one over here. I suppose since they're along the path that I would have taken to get back. Yeah, so if there's one there, I wonder if there really were 30 of them in this zone. I wouldn't be surprised. But let's get back to the old man and see if we finally restored his... Oh, look at that! Oh, it looks like they use photographs. Oh, they're arguing. Clearly. Well, let's see what they say. Yes, it's back! I can't believe it! Right on time, the show is just beginning! Ha 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 ha! This is the best show ever! This new opening is so good! Nothing beats the second season's opening, Monsieur. Wait, Louis. I thought you said the show was dull. Why are you so informed? Oh, he's one of those guys that is secretly a fan, or at least has watched it out of obligation. Ha <coughs> <Cool. coughs> uh, um, <clears throat> <laughs> It's, it's, uh, my, uh, brother, Monsieur. He, he loves the show like you do, and he keeps talking about it. I need to focus on the glass meat, uh, cleaning, Monsieur. Yeah, I was thinking that too, that it was like seven minutes until the show was supposed to start, and I took longer than that, but eh. Time. What does it mean in these? If you say so, Louis. Anyway, back to the show. Oh, it's starting now. Is that happiness? Lumion pops out and just devours it. Mine now. Quest journal updated. Happiness. It's all mine. There we go. The old man, the TV, quest complete. What happened? It clicked me out for some reason. Let's go back. They both seem absorbed by the television. Indeed. Is that the end of my travels? I should do an outro? I suppose I should. Oh, thanks for playing. You've reached the end of the demo. We hope that you enjoyed it. The full game features more villagers to help, lots of kiblins to play with, and secrets to find. You'll also experience Lila and Lumion's exciting story. I'm gonna keep exploring. Woo! So anyways, this is awfully cute. I, I absolutely love little Lila. She's adorable. Look at them, so cute. Oh, they got the eyes right when you have just these giant half orbs sitting on either side. Oh, they're just so cute. Yeah, having Lila as the silent mouse protagonist, but it, she seems to have some personality. The Kiblins are interesting. It, it makes me wonder what Lumion will look like. Are they just a larger Kiblin? The Kiblin creatures, they're clearly energy or electricity incarnate, but and now they're powering all these devices for humans, but where did they exist prior to humans industrializing and creating uh, devices that could use electricity? I don't know. Very interesting concept. But I do wonder, though, when that one Kiblin was saying, you know, there are spirit guardians, good and evil. I'm wondering, where does Lumion fit into all of this? And... Yes, they feed on happiness, so I suppose it makes sense that these spirits would have an incentive to to make humans happy so that they could continue to thrive and maintain their power, but I don't know. Should we really give Lumion back their powers? And will Lila really be content with being a mouse? Just a, a mouse? Or will 
Will they be able to become a permanent gar guardian like what the one Kiblin said? I don't know. Obviously, this is just this is just really cute. I like the music. I like the settings so far. It'll be interesting to see what humor they have for, for the other quests. I liked how, oh, there was the one Kiblin picking up humans' mail and being completely oblivious as to what taxes were, intrusive ads, everything like that. That was fun. And then just these guys talking about their soap opera. Ah, that's hilarious. So yeah, definitely like to see what other quests we have. What other humans we have to help and what they require in order to be happy. Acquire their happiness and just more interactions with Lumion too. Because I'm sure as we attain more happiness, we'll have more conversations with them and learn more about their circumstances. But anyways, this is absolutely adorable, and thank you guys all for watching. Like all the platforming and stuff too. I think I forgot to mention that. And it's nice that they have a little collectible elements too. It'll be fun! Once again, thank you for all for watching, and see you next time!